Jesus came to bring us hope in the darkest of circumstances. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Boucher Pye. By its very existence, a ministry center in Rwanda called the Lighthouse symbolizes redemption. It sits on land where, during the genocide in 1994, the country's president owned a grand home. This new structure, however, has been erected by Christians as a beacon of light and hope. Housed there is a Bible institute to raise up a new generation of Christian leaders, along with a hotel, restaurant, and other services for the community. Out of the ashes has come new life. Those who built the lighthouse looked to Jesus as their source of hope and redemption. When Jesus went to the synagogue in Nazareth on the Sabbath, he read from the book of Isaiah and announced that he was the anointed one to proclaim the Lord's favor. He was the one who came to bind up the brokenhearted and offer redemption and forgiveness. In Jesus we see beauty coming from the ashes. We find the atrocities of the Rwandan genocide, where intertribal fighting cost more than a half million lives, mind-boggling and harrowing, and we hardly know what to say about them. And yet we know that the Lord can redeem the atrocities, either here on earth or in heaven. He who bestows the oil of joy instead of mourning gives us hope even in the midst of the darkest of situations. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 through 6. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks, foreigners will work your fields and vineyards, and you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. That's today's scripture reading from Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 through 6. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our hearts hurt when we hear about the pain and suffering that some endure. Have mercy, we pray. In your name, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.